Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Salosa, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the community's reaction to Overwatch 2. Let's see what you guys think about the stuff that was actually announced at BlizzCon a couple of days ago. All right, then, let's get stuck into this. So what I did is I asked you guys on the channel, you've all seen Overwatch 2 news from BlizzCon. So I want to ask you this. Has it made you excited for Overwatch 2? Explain your vote in the comments below. And we've got an amazing comment here. I'm just going to go straight in on this. This is, oh, by the way, this Widowmaker model. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Please, this video actually might get taken down. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't. Anyway, look at this top comment. This is an amazing comment. I love this comment. It's so good. So Skeptical Pickle straight up says, I'm hyped and disappointed and frustrated all at the same time. That is, it's a great comment. And then you get all these uh, responses to it. So Mad Max says, PVP. And no release date scares me. PVE looks incredible. I feel exactly how you feel. You said it, I'm annoyed. But on the other hand, I want to play it now. I couldn't have said it better myself. Overwatch will be practically dead until Overwatch 2. You see, this is the thing, isn't it? Like, we were shown a game, which is a reboot of Overwatch. It is almost like Overwatch is becoming a fully-fledged game. As crazy as that sounds. Because, you know, let's be honest. Overwatch is a fully-fledged game right now with its PVE and all that good stuff. But it's getting tons of features, massive amounts of features. We've seen some really awesome stuff. I don't think anybody would say Overwatch 2 looks terrible. Everybody's like, oh my God, that looks amazing. The problem becomes when you look at the fact Overwatch was completely ignored. And I know this is this is confusing in the video when I'm like, Overwatch 2, Overwatch. How could Overwatch be ignored when they're talking about Overwatch 2? And Overwatch, the PvE or what Overwatch is, is being plugged into Overwatch 2. But actually, yeah, no, because they're also changing PvP and they're putting a new game mode in. So they're making changes and they're actually removing 2CP from the game. All these things, right? So really, it's sort of like it is Overwatch, but it is an Overwatch. But the issue is why I think a lot of people are hyped and disappointed and frustrated at the same time. Look at me. I can speak from my perspective. You guys have probably seen that video I put on the channel yesterday. I am frustrated, but I am very optimistic. I know. And now I think everybody knows when Overwatch 2 drops, it's going to be massive. It will be a huge game. It, like... Maybe it only lasts for a few months. Who cares? It will be a massive game when it launches. Blizzard will put its full weight of its marketing department behind it. There'll be loads of cinematics. There'll be just tons of stuff. It'll hit us like a train. Everybody will be like, oh my God, look, it's Overwatch 2. What happens until then, though? How long is that? Is it 2022? Is it 2023? Is it 2024? Who knows, right? I don't think it's 2024. I don't think it's 2023. I think it's 2022, probably, let's say, late 2022. Um, but like, the problem becomes what happens to Overwatch until then with no major additions to its content, which it hasn't had for like two years. And this is the thing I really need to stress to you guys. If you go back to 2018, you can you can see a very marked sort of decline in the amount of content coming to Overwatch. So, yeah, we still had heroes coming, but the numbers were slowly reducing. We didn't really have anything major. There's no core PvP mode. There's no like, you know, barrage of maps being added to the game. There's no, you know, just just meaty content that could be added to the game. None of it was really there. Yeah, there was a lot of systems upgrades. You know, you got things like the Priority Pass system, which came in last year. That's awesome. Yeah, even Roll Queue when that came in. That's awesome. You know, you got stuff like that coming to the game. But it's very much, I don't really want to say maintenance mode. These are things which can be plugged into Overwatch, which are still going to be applicable when Overwatch 2 launches. Whereas if you start putting Overwatch 2 content into the game right now, so we're talking new heroes, which, by the way, might not even work because these new heroes might depend on new systems that are built into Overwatch 2 into its engine even though it's the same engine as overwatch there might be differences where you can't just throw them in so you can't get sojourn and go you know what i'm just going to throw her into overwatch right now you probably can't do that because it just probably wouldn't even work and um, so there's that consideration to, to take in but it's all legitimate it's a very legitimate thing because what do you do until the game comes out it's a question i'm going to ask you guys what do you do until overwatch 2 comes out well just don't play as much overwatch well, what does that mean well, content creators won't make as much content. Streamers won't play it as much. There's all these issues, right? And and I think it's just crazy to me that they could do, they could have done and they still can do more to keep the current player base engaged with the game. Because I think what we'll be seeing, and I've already seen a number of streamers talk about this recently, where they're announcing stepping away from Overwatch or this is no longer my main game. I'm going to be doing this. I'm, I'm becoming a variety channel, things like that going on. And you've got to be like, hey, that's completely reasonable because... We have had no commitment from Blizzard at BlizzCon saying they are supporting the game right now. Yeah, they'll support it with cosmetics during events and balance updates every now and again and the odd experimental and probably workshop updates and things like that. 
but it's 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 all like surface level stuff it's not exciting stuff you know what i'm saying anyway let's move on through the comments because i am in danger of going into a massive rant again <laughs> about overwatch but i do feel like i don't want to like i don't want to feel like i'm just sort of preaching to you guys like overwatch it's been a massive part of my life. It still is, right? Look at the place I'm sitting in. It's everywhere. Every day I'm, I'm exposed to Overwatch. I've made thousands and thousands of videos. I've met the devs loads of times. I've been to practically every single Overwatch event. I was there at the very first Overwatch League style event. It wasn't even Overwatch League. It was the um, Atlantic Showdown at Gamescom. It was the first offline final that was ever held for, for, for Overwatch. I was there. I, I've been to every Overwatch League final. I've been to... I, I've been everywhere, right? I, I, Overwatch World Cup, like I've done, I've done everything in this game, right? And yeah, so I just feel like I can kind of talk about it with a bit of authority, right? <laughs> Although I've got to admit, sometimes it is frightening and daunting to talk about games like this because, you know, you never really know what's going to happen, do you? And that's like always a consideration you have to take on board. But whatever, you got to stay real and you got to tell it how it is. All right, then let's carry on with these comments. So we've got beat down here. Goes for option three. Of course, there is no option three in this. It says, I'm excited about Overwatch 2. But I'm more disappointed that there was nothing for Overwatch 1. And you can see these are the highest voted comments on this poll at the moment. And there's a ton of replies to this. So let's go into this. And by the way, we won't go through every comment on this video because it would will, it will be incredibly long if we did that. Um, but we'll just, we'll go through it and we'll find the more interesting ones and comment on those. So we've got, they've showed us all these amazing things we have to wait a year for and ignored the current game that is slowly losing interest. Just one hero is all I need. Now, the hero debate, um, I want heroes in the game. I, I don't think there was any reason for heroes to stop being added to Overwatch. Now, you got people on the one side of the argument going, well, the more heroes you add, it messes up the game balance. But honestly, that doesn't matter, right? Because if you add new heroes, then that adds a whole new equation to game balance, right? Then you add another hero and it keeps, you know, this, this effect gets multiplied. And when Overwatch 2 launches, if they come at us with five, six, seven heroes at once, that's going to totally throw the game into disarray anyway. And I don't think that's a bad thing because then Blizzard can start working on trying to sort out any of the glaring issues. Then another hero comes out. Then another hero. You get what I'm saying? It is the single most addition, like the biggest addition to the game you can do to shake up the meta is add a new hero because it adds new possibilities that weren't currently in the game. Or, or of course, you could just I don't know buff a hero ridiculously stupid for no reason, and then yeah, okay, it would be in the meta and it would mess up the meta. Um, but yeah, this 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 vein of an argument which is running through a lot of comments is pretty much like i'm losing interest in overwatch and it's been happening for a while and a while being three years two years let's say two years people have been losing interest in the game there hasn't really been enough to hit the game to bring them back and of course that's what blizzard are hoping overwatch 2 becomes and like i said at the top of this video yeah sure blizzard could just say we're not supporting overwatch one now get lost and everyone will be like oh okay whatever but still you'd have the impact when overwatch 2 launches right and that's the thing. And I'm sure in their eyes, they're probably like, hey, you should be gracious that we're even still messing about with Overwatch right now because we're all working on Overwatch 2 and that's what's going to reinvigorate the game. Ooh. Anyway, but I still think that's mental because you've got a massive user base and you should be servicing them with content. You know, in fact, you want, you want me to go on a rant? I'll go on a rant again. On the official YouTube channel for Play Overwatch, there was a video from Tim the Tapman yesterday. Now, I've got nothing against Tim. In fact, I've met Tim. He's awesome. And, and the content Tim makes is great. But Tim played Overwatch years ago. Tim doesn't play Overwatch. And they put a video up with Tim talking about something he did literally back in 2016. And the comments are like, what the hell is this? There's ton like, I think there's more downvotes on the video than upvotes. That's like, what's going on? Like, who has who authorized that? You know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's weird. So there's weird things going on like that with Overwatch. And it's, it's all... It's all strange to me, and I, I, I wish somebody would explain to me why they're doing that. Um, anyway, let's move on. So, what we've got is, and by the way, don't take that as me going like, oh, I want my video or whatever, my face on the channel. I mean, I don't care. Like, I literally don't care, but I find it very odd as a fan of the game and somebody who makes content on the game that they're featuring people that are not actually anything to do with the game. They're not, like, this. I can tell you there's plenty of up-and-coming content creators on Overwatch. There's tons of people out there that they could easily be featuring. You've got people like SVB making great content. You've got Bro You Whack making great content. All these people, they should be getting focused. They should be getting highlighted. Not Tim the Tap Man. It's mental to me. It's just... Anyway, let's move on. And, and not to mention all of the... Whatever. Let's carry on. <laughs> the rant is real in this video. Oh, my God. I'm just literally turning into a rant channel. Okay, so Casper goes on to say... Uh, exactly. They should have at least teased a new hero for Overwatch 1 to keep us interested. Yeah. Um, how do you know we only need... To wait one year. Yeah, this is the thing. Like this 
comment of we're only waiting a year. We, we don't know. We do know that Overwatch isn't coming out this year because Blizzard have, have said that in the earnings call. So there's no Overwatch 2 this year. Maybe next year. Um, the only thing that we do know right now is that Jeff has said he'll try and try and do monthly updates and give us bits of info on Overwatch 2, which is, you know, great if you can keep up with it. But if he does it for a month then doesn't do it for six months, then people are going to be like, what the hell is going on? So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but honestly, given the amount of stuff they showed about uh, Overwatch 2 at BlizzCon, there's so much they could talk about that really it should be easy to talk about it every month. So we'll see. Um, <laughs> Overwatch 2 in 2077. Uh, no, please. <laughs> what? In 2077, what makes someone a criminal? Hang on. Is that not a line from the Cyberpunk trailer? It might be, or I might just be an idiot. Uh, okay. I feel like... An immortal whale in the desert. And Jeff is just dangling a glass of water. From what? Okay, great comments there, as ever. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's move on. So King's Thing says, I feel that like Overwatch, at its peak, was one of the best games I've played. I have high hopes that Overwatch 2 will reignite some of that passion for the first, uh, the first one managed to do. I feel optimistic that it will. Yeah. So if I put myself in the scenario of a player or a person that maybe picked up Overwatch 1 when it came out, maybe played it for a couple of months and then i was like you know what um i'm done with this game and then i go away maybe i dip back in over the next couple of years when there's a new hero or there's, a, there's an event that comes out or something like that then i stop playing the game to me in that scenario it's totally fine that then they announce overwatch 2 and i don't care when it comes out because when it comes out i'll jump back in and check it out that's sort of like i guess what king is saying in a way because although obviously King still plays Overwatch because he's watching my videos and he's commenting on a poll that I've put on my community page on my channel, you know, which is a very, like I said, it's a high level thing to be doing. You know, all you guys watching this video right now, you're not just casuals. You are like fans of Overwatch. You're invested in the game. So yeah, from, from what King is saying there, like I, I agree with that because I think that's actually what's going to happen. And like, and, and again, I don't, I do firmly believe if Blizzard just went, you know what, screw this. We're not doing anything on Overwatch 1 which maybe that's what they're doing, you know, but they just don't want to come out and say that because they'd get flamed publicly and we're just going to launch Overwatch 2 when it's got a ton of content and off we go. Yeah, like people will just forget this dry period. They'll be like, well, yeah, Overwatch wasn't really, you know, I didn't play it back in 2019, 2020, 2021. Who cares, right? But in 2022, when Overwatch 2 comes out, I mean, I don't know that for a fact, but you know, maybe it's 2023. Whenever it comes out, you just carry on with life as if it didn't matter. The problem is when you are like me as a content creator or you're somebody that wants the game to succeed, you get really frustrated. And again, that goes back to the top comment, doesn't it? About being disappointed, frustrated, but also optimistic all at the same time, which is like, ah. Okay. I can't decide if I'm mad it hasn't released yet or if I'm excited that they're spending so much time perfecting it. Well, this is Blizzard, right? And you do have to give Blizzard credit. They will make an extremely polished game. Overwatch is an incredibly polished game anyway. Um, so Overwatch 2 is going to be even more polished. It looked crazy based off the stuff they showed us. And even that looked like early development stuff. It looked really damn good. So we know it's going to be good. But we know Overwatch 2 will be a good game. I think our issue is what's happening with Overwatch until then. Cornflake Commando. <laughs> Excited primarily for the fact that I no longer see it as an expansion. Now this is the... Yeah, so this is the thing that was not communicated back in 2019 and it did look like an expansion I've, I've been over this in the previous video i'm not going to go over it again um but yeah i think this was a main goal for blizzard they probably sat down and said you know what we need to really sell this as an ex <laughs> not as an expansion as a fully blown sequel to the game now i still think it is stupid that it's called overwatch 2 because where do you go from there do you then have overwatch 3 what's even in overwatch 3 if overwatch 2 is literally going to give us everything what about Overwatch 4? At some point, they maybe turn Overwatch 2 into just Overwatch again. You know, it's like, why the sequel is really weird to me, but I can see why they're doing it because they've obviously decided, and, and this is probably back in 2018, if you try and look at the timeline of when things started to sort of tail off, that they wanted to get more people into the game and not just people interested in PvP. They wanted people interested in PvE because that's a massive player base. So... Let's make a new game. And that's going to be what all our resources are going into because that's what's going to make the biggest impact for player base and financially and everything else. My argument will and uh, has and will always be, you should not have done that. Yes, well, okay, you should do that. That's fine. But you should have carried on and actually ramped up content production for Overwatch itself. 
Because when you look at the timelines and you go back to 2017, you see Overwatch at like a, a ultra high peak. Massive viewers on YouTube, on Twitch. It's like dominating everything. It's, it's you know, the best FPS game out, all of this stuff. And then it starts to go down, 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 down. And they could have gone, no, you know what? We're really cranking it back up. But they didn't. They came to a decision for whatever reason. No, this is fine. We don't care about this. It can go, go, go down. Because we're going to hit again with Overwatch 2 when it comes out and hope that that gets bigger. But my worry is, it's if you go down too low, can you actually recover from that? That's a very simplistic look at that. But hopefully you guys can get where I'm coming at with this kind of like that kind of mentality um, focused on the game and the way it's been sort of looked after over these years. All right, then. So what does Hunter say? Or Huntery? I'm so excited for a good game that isn't focused, that, that isn't forced to be released before it's ready. I'm excited for the Expanse and PvE because recently we haven't been getting many hits in the gaming community since Apex, really. Okay, so I think they're excited for PvE, which is fine. Yeah, there's no way. Like, so this become the next Cyberpunk. There is no way. Uh, the when Blizzard launched the game, it will be completely. It won't be broke. <laughs> it will not be broke. Um, so that's just never going to happen. Uh, yeah, it shouldn't. I think Blizzard saw that and decided they were going to polish it when they talked about them. Maybe like I, uh, you know. If, if I was to go full tinfoil hat, I would say that my thinking for the BlizzCon 2019 stuff would be they probably wanted to launch it sooner, but then for whatever reason, probably based on feedback that they got, um, they needed more content. They needed more stuff. and They really had to flesh stuff out. And so that's what they did. They went away and really started to flesh stuff out uh, and add more content, which culminated in them showing us all that stuff at BlizzCon this year, which is good. Um, Okay, I like the archives in Junkie Stein's Revenge more than arcade, custom games, quick play and competitive. So I imagine the game mode made it only for that type of gameplay uh, and it's expanded. Yeah, I mean, that's what they're doing, right? That is absolutely what they're doing and I think that's fine. Because you look at Overwatch as a game, PvP, it's got that element to it. Now, one of the things it did is, it, this was like the, the brilliance of Overwatch, is it brought a lot of people into a competitive FPS game that would never do that. You know, they wouldn't play competitive FPS because Overwatch had the brilliance of you had characters that didn't rely on raw aim. They, you know, you could look at Reinhardt. It was more reliant on being aware of your position, being aware of your surroundings. Look at Mercy. Not so much raw aim, but you have to make decisions, different types of decisions. There might be people out there who can think fast, but maybe not able to aim fast. There were heroes that you could actually play that would allow you to do that in Overwatch. And it was awesome. So if you apply that now to PvE, then suddenly it opens up again. Like, you look at a game like Destiny. Destiny is a... Now, I played a lot of Destiny 1 on the uh, PlayStation 4. And I, I haven't played Destiny 2. But Destiny 1, you, you need to be able to aim, right? Okay, it had aim assist and stuff like that. But it's still a game based on reactions, aim. Everyone's the same, right? You're all firing at stuff. It's all aim-based. There isn't characters in the game that you could play at that time. And I don't think there is now. Well, okay, maybe some of the ultimate, like... I forget what they're even called. You, know, where you get a big sword and you run around and slash the whatever. But like everyone had to aim. The thing with Overwatch is if you apply PVE to Overwatch is you've still got your tanks. You've still got your supports, your different types of DPS. You've got all of this in the game, which means that it should pull in people who might not have played that type of co-op FPS experience because it's got all of these available options. So on paper, it's a win-win, right? Um, and this is also... I've seen a lot of very smooth brain takes out there from people saying they shouldn't be focusing on PvE, they should be focusing on PvP. If they can add PvE to the game and it grows the game's player base, then why would people who play PvP care? Because that means there's more people for PvP. And by extension, more people would watch Overwatch League, right? Which is going to be a big thing this year. You know, I think a lot of people are going to be watching Overwatch League to see what kind of viewership it gets. Is this going to be its worst season ever? Is it going to be a good season? Who knows, right? I guess we'll find out in, is it April when it launches? Although I do believe drops will be enabled for Overwatch League. So that'll probably help when people watch it on YouTube instead of having to watch it through like the Overwatch League website and all that madness. All right, let's go. So James says, honestly, uh, from what I've seen, I'm not even that annoyed it's coming out in 2022. We don't know this. This is not fact, but we know it's not coming out this year. Austin says, yeah, while I would love for it to be out this year, the amount of work put into it seems like it'll be worth the wait. I agree. Um, how do you know it's coming out in 2022? They didn't even give us a date, so it might not even be 2022 because they would have said next year. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Um, Zipper says, I feel like... Okay, what is with this guy? <laughs> what is this? Is this comment was up here as well? Is it the same dude? 
I don't even know. I don't even care. Whatever, let's move on. So, uh, I'm most excited for the map. Also, Primal Kid, thank you for being a member to the channel. Legend. Uh, I'm most excited for the maps, like they're extending King's Row, but like Rome looks sick. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. Um, so, one of the things Blizzard have always been really good at is making the maps look fantastic. Um, Paris is a great example of this. Look at Paris. The sound design is great. The way the map looks is great, but it plays like absolute arse. And I don't know how that ever got through playtesting, but everything else, Blizzard will always make a good looking map. If it works, <laughs> who knows? King's Row, though, is the best map in the game. And they should just literally add more. They should just add different streets. If that street is King's Row, then just add like Oxford Street and <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, Ghost Dog says, uh, it seems to have progressed so much from last BlizzCon. Yeah, I agree. And I don't know if it was just me, but they seem to not show their whole hand this time. And I wouldn't be surprised if there were a few other heroes. Yeah, so I think they did show everything. I think they really did. Obviously, they're not going to show us all their heroes because that's going to blow a lot of their marketing push. Because if they go, here's a new hero, they can do loads of stuff around it. You know, animated shorts, all kinds of stuff. Um, but they showed us everything, like talents, different types of missions that they wanted. Uh, well, hero missions. No story. Yeah, hero missions. They didn't show us any story missions beyond the Rio mission, um, but they showed us like little cinematics that they've been working on in game. So I think they showed us an absolute ton of stuff. And then they were like, hey, we're in, we're sorting out the sound. We're making the sound way better in the game, which, by the way, I think the sound was already incredible in Overwatch, but they're going to make it even better. So all of this stuff, everything, it's literally Overwatch 2.0. Like they're just throwing loads of stuff into it. So yeah, I, I, I think I think they did show us what I think what their intention was to show us everything they're working on. And that's what I think is awesome. Stanley says, uh, from what we have all seen, me being a law nerd, it's incredibly exciting to see the story camp. Oh, actually, that's, yeah. We did see a little bit from a mission, didn't we? We see um, India, Genji, and, and uh, Zen, the bit where Widowmaker swings in as well. So we did actually see that. So that's my mistake. See, there was that much shown in the 40-minute clip. You forget about some bits and pieces. Although, I've actually been spending the day today cutting out all of the um, developer sections from that video. So I've just got all of the raw gameplay. And I want to try and look for stuff because I think um, there's like a T pose of the, the Junker Queen in there and things like that, although it's not finished. Uh, and like little stupid teasers like that in, in certain places. So it could be cool to look at. But even just looking at the gameplay again is really cool. But yeah, lore nerds, you're going to love it. There's going to be more lore and we need that. Um, also, there are attempts at making the hero missions endlessly replayable. Yeah, well, it needs that. But what we, ne what, what we need is, uh, and like I'm hoping we get information on this, maybe this year, what does the progression system look like? Because just replaying missions over and over again, it's okay, yeah, you can level up your character, but what does that mean? Just get different talents. Like, is there going to be a way you can show this on your character? Is there a new cosmetic system? All of these things, like, uh, and maybe Blizzard could just in, like, invent some sort of new progression system in that regard. We'll have to wait and see. All right, let's go. Lucas says, it's clear that they want this to be a good game. I'm hyped. Yeah, I agree. I'm hyped, but it's really hard to get past the fact that it's not going to be a 2021 release. Yeah. Um, I'm just glad we're getting Overwatch news again. Yeah, like, I am as well. Um, I mean, you know things were getting bad when people were, you know, we'd have to, when you end up talking about 4chan posts just because there's nothing to talk about for Overwatch. Um, that's crap. Like, and Blizzard can fix this. Blizzard can drip feed information to the community and I still don't know why they haven't been doing it for so long but I hope things now change um the amount of content exceeded my expectations looks really good I was already really enjoying the missions uh, from the archives event so missions like that uh, but better and more is definitely exciting yeah I mean I believe that um in terms of like the best event that they've made um it would definitely be the retribution event and there's a couple of there's a couple of ways that you know this is the case so me being a creator they invited us all to Irvine. Like, they flew us out to Irvine to check that out. They, they we went into the Blizzard, like, they've got, like, a cinema auditorium place. They were showing us, like, this is a new stuff. Jeff's there. You know, all, all the major developers there are explaining different parts of the game. There's loads of press there. They're showing stuff off. Look at what we've made. It's awesome. It's great. Yeah, it really was good. It really was awesome. And I think at that point, a lot of us were like, holy hell, this is going to be awesome, right? This is what they're adding to Overwatch. And then they did nothing else, really. I mean, okay, we got Storm Rising, but it wasn't really the same level, was it? Okay, but it wasn't the same level. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely exciting that it is. Like, if we get more of that stuff, then, oh, my, it's going to be great. I feel like after the colossal garbage, like Cyberpunk, 
I'm like, screw Cyberpunk. We don't even care about that. I've been uh, so happy to play Overwatch again in a long time. I, 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 okay, I haven't been. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, so yeah, these guys are a little bit confused in the comments. But this one here, this is another thing as well, right? So maybe people have started coming back to Overwatch 1 now because they've seen some of the Overwatch 2 stuff floating around and like, oh, let's check out what Overwatch is doing right now. Uh, I'm hyped now, and I can understand the time they're taking because we saw how ambitious they were. Yeah. I've been excited for Overwatch 2 since Metro leaked it back in 2019. <laughs> uh, I feel like Overwatch 2 will be super fun to play with casual friends because it feels like even quick play learning position is hard for more casual players. No, I don't know. You're probably a plat player at best, Mark. Come on, sort yourself out. <laughs> I'm really excited to see that. Oh, God. To see that we're working uh, really hard for it. They're taking their time with every detail, and I can't wait for it to be released. It will be interesting to hear more updates on the new look, story mode, and balance changes uh, change that they're working on. Uh, I want them to take their time with it so it releases in its fullest potential. So I think, like, even at this point here in the video, they're positive comments, aren't they? And, and they're rightfully so. They should be positive, because what we were shown looked amazing. It looked really good. As a fan of Overwatch, you're watching it like, holy shit, give me that. Like, you want that, right? You're like, oh my god, give it the reaction video i made right it yeah that was my reaction to it because i'm like oh my god this looks great this looks awesome but at that at that moment you're not thinking about overwatch you're just thinking about overwatch to the potential of it and then when you get told there's no beta date there's no um release date or there's nothing then you're like uh oh we've had the high of blizzcon now i'm just sort of looking at overwatch going well what's next are we just going to get like a knockback change to wrecking ball that's not really worth making a video on sure you could be like make some bloody video going a massive nerf to wrecking ball and then show that off and it's like well this isn't really exciting is it no um so yeah it's almost like we've we've seen what is possible and then we've been knocked back down to earth which is like Ugh. i'm completely disappointed they announced the game and then announced that they wouldn't be adding over uh, and to overwatch one preceded by no clue when they released which exactly was what i've said just there which is you can agree with that. Uh, all I want to see is Reinhardt and his skill tree with the new abilities. Actually, there was a little bit of Reinhardt's um, talents. I might actually make a video on taking a look at some of the talents. Um, but I think people have already done that. But I'll see. We'll see. I think we can probably still discuss it. Uh, I was hyped for Overwatch 2 already. I'm going to stay hyped until it comes out. Yeah, I, you know, I am. Eric, I am. And I think a lot of people are. Like, totally. Everybody is like, yeah, well, we're just... I'm hyped for the game. Give it me. But when's it coming? <laughs> I'm hyped AF. It's nice seeing them put their hearts and souls into me. So this is, you know what? I'm going to end the video on this because we've probably gone on quite long here. I don't know. I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't even see me over a monitor, which is not great. Hang on, let me look. Uh, okay, so like 27 minutes. That's pretty long. Um, I'm going to end it on this. The development team, and this isn't some like kiss ass crap. They are really good. Um, I, I have had the pleasure of meeting these guys. I don't even know, five, six, seven times probably um, since Overwatch came out. And they are the biggest fans of the game. They know what is wrong with the game. They want to sort the game. They want to add stuff to the game. They want to make awesome games. They want to make Overwatch 2 amazing. There's no doubt, right, in my mind. And I'm sure that when people come out and they're like, oh, this is terrible. What the hell is this? It's so bad. It, it will affect them because they're like, well, what the hell? You know, I mean, hey, look at Paris, right? All the effort that would have went into making Paris, then it just gets slammed. This map's absolutely trash. What's going on? That doesn't feel great, does it? It doesn't even feel great to me if I make a video and someone's like, oh, this video's crap. You know, some clown on Reddit posts it up there and he's like, oh, what's this guy talking about? He's an idiot. It doesn't feel great, right? Anything that you make and then it gets trashed, it doesn't feel great. But they are the biggest fans of the game. They do know what the game needs. And that's why it's kind of perplexing to me that they haven't updated Overwatch 1. So there must be some other summit going on behind the scenes that we don't know which is probably easy to blame Activision for and stuff like that. But who, who knows? I don't think we'll ever know. But the game is in good hands and Overwatch 2 will be a big game. The ultimate question is, what happens until that game comes out? How are Blizzard going to deal with this community until then? Do they let it collapse? Like I said, I'm a content creator and over the last few years, all I've seen is all of the community managers get fired from Blizzard. Not just in Overwatch, in all of the games. Major reductions in the way that they reach out to community crea content creators. And if that's happening, that's a sign, an early sign, that things are really slowing down. 
I don't know. All right, guys. I've been Salo. So thank you for watching the video. And thank you to everyone who is a member of the channel. Um, you do support me directly. It is awesome. You can click the join button below the channel and you'll, you can become a, I think it's called like a super fan or something. I don't know. But you can join the channel. You get my stupid faces, emotes, and all that kind of good stuff. It tells you in a little list what you get, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, do let me know what your reaction is to Overwatch in the comments below. And I guess just to scroll back up here uh, to the Overwatch 2 announcement, look at this 83% are hyped compared to 17. And this has got, you know, nearly 20,000 votes. Or maybe if I refresh it, it will go up to 20. Yeah, so it's got 20,000 votes on it. And 83% are hyped for Overwatch 2. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll catch you lovely lot on the next one. Toodaloo.